Hello, good afternoon or morning to anyone tuning in to watch this video. Today is April 26 of 2018 and I am in Washington Heights. The immediate area where I am right now, I presented on before. There's a couple of videos that I prepared that are situated or marked down on the map available on the website. Uh, different exhibits at different times and this time of year we have this exhibit by an artist that was born in Chicago and lived in New York, uh, developed her creative vocabulary in the 1980s in the East Village. And the title of the exhibit is called In Dreams Awake, Kathy Rotten Rottenberg, In Dreams Awake. It's, uh, this is just one of the words that are on exhibit. It's a total of six situated along Broadway Avenue from 157th Street all the way down to 72nd Street. This one here is specifically called Fishbowl. As you can see people are looking at it, children are playing around it and are fascinated by this incredible uh, manifestation that seems almost out of a dream. And it seems out of a dream, and it actually is out of a dream, as reflected in the title, in Dreams Awake. Tomorrow is the official opening for this, for this exhibit. There will be a ceremony on 72nd Street, and uh, it will be very interesting to, to have this for the coming months. They're going to take it down in uh, winter of 2019, so it's going to be here for a good while. In this particular presentation, we see this uh, figure of a merman inside this fishbowl. And he is seated on this conch with a crab that is kind of like moving in, maybe? Gives it a sense of motion. But this figure, this merman on this fishbowl is receiving a gift of flowers. You see the flowers over there? And they are, and he's basically reaching his hand into the ball. And you can see that half of the hand is outside and the other half is indoors. And it's a very interesting creation. This beast-like creature with humanoid features. There are many symbolic elements to the, to the composition. For example, if you're dreaming in a dream, a conch shell represents sexual inhibitions. The dream may also be a warning, so looking at this particular symbol, we connect to this dynamic of inhibitions according to what this symbolizes. A merman, to see a mare in your dream indicates a need to belong and to be a part of something. Alternatively, a merman represents a message from your subconscious. So it's almost as if there's this communication going on. I need to belong, I need to connect with a different aspect of existence as is expressed over here on this figure of this hybrid creature offering flowers, connecting, developing that connection through this process that is clearly marked, separated, belonging to two different realms. From this vantage point, we see the fish tank and we see the merriment, but if we look at it from the back perspective, it's almost as if the, the distinction between uh, the two worlds kind of blurs, like it appears one thing at one moment and then it appears something else at a different time. Shell. You like this. I, I'm glad you do. It's a very, it's a fascinating work. It's one of the most dynamic that I've seen on exhibit at this very space over here. 
in Washington Heights. This is by 157th Street and Broadway Avenue. And this was just installed yesterday. I just saw it yesterday. Tomorrow there's going to be a celebration inaugurating this exhibit consisting of six works that will be installed throughout Broadway Avenue running from 157th Street to 72nd Street and this one is situated here at Ilka Tanya Payam Park on 157th Street and it's uh, just something straight out of a dream basically there's also a little plaque that lets us know what, how the exhibit is organized. It's, called, it's made possible by the Broadway Mall Association. They are presenting Kathy Rottenberg on Broadway in Dreams Awake, the name of the exhibit. On 157th Street, we have Fishbowl. On 117th Street, there is Topsy Turvy. On, on 96th Street, Snail Space. That will be interesting to see as well. On 79th Street, Miss Mighty Mouse. On 72nd Street, In Sync. And on 64th Street, Dante Park, All the World's a Stage. are connecting to the work they're developing and trying to develop an understanding and connecting to what this is and what this means very powerful in the days to come i'll be going to the other side along broadway avenue so to look at these incredible manifestations of creativity like the facebook page to keep updated if you are watching on youtube subscribe to the channel and to see a map of how art is organized in the spaces of Manhattan, log on to www.5dguide.com and go to video tours. And you will begin to connect from this very per from this perspective to New York and begin to see how this is organized, how this space that we have all around us is organized. Also share this video, connect others and have them see because these are in essence exercises that push our <laughs> ability to perceive and problem solve and develop new creative channels for the challenges that we face in our lives. Alright, have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye-bye.